Another anime that caught my eye this year is called Kill Me Baby. Yeah. It wasn't just the title that caught my eye, though. The chibi cuteness dragged me into this show. Oh, just look at them. So let's find out what this is about. An assassin named Sonya attends a regular school while putting up with a ninja named Agiri and an annoying airhead named Yasuna. And that's it. Oh, and uh, an unused character pops up trying to get to Sonya. What's her name? Unused character. Not kidding. That's her name. Okay, to go deeper into this simple plot, Yasuna loves to hang out with her assassin friend Sonya, but she also likes to pick on her. Yasuna is the typical school idiot who likes to think she can do anything and drag her friends into whatever she wants. Kinda like you know who. Yep, just like her. This is a chibi, dumber version of Tomotakino. And that's saying a lot. In fact, just looking at this relationship, Sonya and Yasuna are updated versions of Tomo and Yomi. But Sonya actually attacks back and puts Yasuna in her place. Oh wait, Yomi does that too. Still, the upgrade is pretty funny. Yasuna sneak attack hugs from the back, Sonya knocks her unconscious. Yasuna disguises herself as a terrorist, Sonya tackles her like a serious assassin should. Yasuna wants to play battle puppets, Sonya equips her puppet with a knife. <laughs> I love it. Still, you have to admit there's only two plots and they each end the same. The first plot is Yasuna wants to do something, Sonya thinks it's stupid. Yasuna is able to drag Sonya along and it all ends up with Yasuna embarrassing herself and Sonya is not caring. The second plot is someone's out to kill Sonya. Sonya faces the challenge with Yasuna following from behind. The bad guys end up being mediocre and lose to Sonya while Yasuna stands in the way throughout most of it. If there is a third plot, it would be Yasuna teasing Sonya and nearly getting killed for it. The themes are different each time, but it's the same premise every time. It can get a bit boring at times, but they throw in a few cute jokes here and there to make you laugh. I want that knife puppet. I'm just saying. So, you guessed it. This is a comedy show with random plots and random characters, but you can guess that this series is based on a four-panel manga series. You know, the pages have two by four rows of panels and the manga artist takes those four panels at a time to make a joke or statement. It's kind of like reading the Sunday comics, only better. Still, the fact that you can actually guess without even knowing the manga that it's based on a four panel series just says how the show flows. It's just a little choppy compared to Azumanga Daio, another four panel manga series that also got its own anime, but the flow worked a lot better. The one thing the show makes up for is Agiri, the so called ninja girl. She makes the show. I continue watching it just for her. Why? Because she is so freaking random. She tricks Yasuna into buying her cheap ninja scrolls, convinces others she's a real ninja when we don't even know that's true or not, hides around in random places just to mess with the others, and can just pull off the most random crap you can think of. She is the best character in the show, and I freaking love her! Another thing that adds to the randomness of this show is the opening credits. The opening is a scene of its own that pretty much prepares you for what you are about to see. Yasuna is hopeless, Sonya kicks butt, and where did Akiri get those bombs? Don't question the fact that she's using Shadow Clone Jutsu, she's got bombs! Overall, this is a cutesy chibi comedy with a few story flaws here and there. It's not a golden anime title, but it serves its purpose. It's there to be cute and funny. If you're in the mood for a cute comedy, watch Kill Me Baby. Another killer review if I do say so myself. For more updates on Anime America projects, just go to our Facebook page and like us! If you wish to support our production by purchasing our merchandise, just go to www.cafepress.com slash Anime America Podcast. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned to Anime America.